Thanks for joining us tonight with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. Welcome to the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. It's NBA Monday night on ESPN as we get set for the second meeting of the season between the Sacramento Kings and the San Antonio Spurs. As this one gets underway, Jeff, who might they need to be careful with against San Antonio tonight? I am absolutely tired of people running down Pau Gasol over his alleged offense. Give me a soft guy that gets you 20 and 10, and I'll take it every single time. He is a machine in the low post with his low post fundamentals and footwork. Can score with either hand. And then what I like is he's added that 17 to 20 foot jump shot. Plus, he's now stepping to the corners to shoot threes. This guy is so hard to guard, and he's a willing passer. The Kings didn't hold back in that opening half. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Sacramento Kings. The Spurs have yet to appear after one half of basketball. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems. But I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. Have a look at the leading scores for the San Antonio Spurs. Game track. Assists. Great effort makes for great highlights. These guys are playing a relentless style of basketball that really suits them. And here we have a look at the first half stats. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on a show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. Here's a look at the numbers. Who was who? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he missed the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. Top play, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number one. Here we have a look at today's NBA matchup. Moments away from the third quarter. Mike and Jeff are re ready to call. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Kings put their opponents away in a blowout. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group. And that's what happened here today. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Sacramento Kings. The Spurs lost this game long before the final buzz. And it's games like this where veteran players can be so important. They've been through these types of blowouts, and they know what it takes to keep a locker room united.
Here are the guys who put up the most points for the San Antonio Spurs. Game track. Assists. These guys walked in with the game plan, and they walked out with the win. And these highlights, they tell even more of the story. Let's check out the game stats. Player of the game. The highlight says it all. He's your player of the game. And for the stat geeks, here's a look at his numbers. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. And here, we've got some of the game scheduled. Have a look at the Western Conference standings. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.